Hi everyone, welcome to week eight of your medical insurance for pharmacy technicians course. Um, this week we are going to be looking at chapter six, which is all about the claim preparation and transmission piece of insurance. Um, so uh, as with all of the chapters, there are a lot of key terms that you're going to need to make sure that you understand. Um, so make sure that you, you pay attention to those. Um, when we are talking about preparing a claim and transmitting a claim, first we need to know what is actually a claim. So um, when we have a patient that's filling a prescription with any kind of insurance or third party um, uh, coverage, um, there is paperwork that is completed. And when I say paperwork, I, you know, I, I use that term kind of loosely because nowadays most things are electronic. But those paper, those pieces of, of that document with pieces of information has to be completed. And then that paperwork is filed then with the proper people in order to ensure that we get the maximum benefits. So there's basically five pieces of information that need to be recorded um, in order for a claim to be submitted. Um, and these are the five things, um, the patient's information, the prescriber's information, the pharmacy's information, the insurance's information, and the prescription. And so within each of these things, there are a lot of detail, right? Um, and so within each of these things, that also means that there is um, the, the possibility that an error could be made. So for example, when we look at patient information, um, you know, obviously we know that things like, um, you know, the name must be correct, but birth date, gender, address, um, phone number, relationship to the cardholder, all of those things are very key. If you put the wrong code in for the relationship to the cardholder, the whole claim can be rejected. So it's very important that we make sure that those are correct. Another easy mistake to make is putting in the date of birth and putting in the current year rather than the proper year. Um, so again, just you know, little things to look for when you are, are submitting. Um, the thing also to remember, whether you're you know looking at any of those five categories, is if there is even one small error in any of those categories, that claim is going to be rejected. And so what happens when you submit a claim is that claim goes to a, a switch company and that switch company then submits that claim to the, the appropriate insurance company. Okay. And once that insurance company receives it, then they determine whether or not they, you know, it meets the standards and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, approves or denies that particular claim. And unfortunately, what happens is, is during that claim submission, that back and forth time, every time you go through that switch, whether it's a everything's okay or oops, something's wrong, we got to send it back and redo it. Every time you go back and forth, so every time it goes to the switch company and every time it comes back to the pharmacy, there is a fee charge. And that can be anywhere from a small fee to a large fee, 25, 50, 75 cents every time. So you can see how quickly that can add up if you have an error in your um, data. And every time that, you know, comes back and you have to fix it, you resubmit, comes back. Every single time we go back and forth like that, that is when we have to pay that switch fee. And it definitely adds up quickly. So being proficient in detail is very key in the submission portion of um, insurance claims. So make sure that you understand um, that and that you make sure that you are, are completing everything appropriately when you're entering the patient's information, the prescriber's information, the prescription information, all of those things. Make sure that those are being entered correctly the first time around so that you can avoid any unnecessary switch fees. So as you go through this week and you start to review this material, if anything um, is confusing to you, if you have any problems, any questions, things like that, please make sure that you are reaching out to me and have a great week.